Members of both the right and the left have been freaking out over the Grammy Awards for different reasons, of course. Why don't we start with right wingers who apparently were very offended by a Satan themed set at the ceremony. You have Sam Smith and Kim Petras who won the award for best pop duo and group performance on this night. And so they sang their hit single, Unholy. Which obviously means that they worship Satan and would like your children to worship Satan, according to the right wing. Now, during the performance, Smith sang while dressed head to toe in red, including a devil horn hat, while being surrounded by dancers who resembled Samara or Samara from the horror film The Ring. So you see the images, it is what it is. It's their artistic expression. And if you're concerned about children watching this, well, don't have your children watch the Grammys. It's that simple. You get to control the TV your children watch. But religious conservatives were not pleased by this. I'll give you a few examples of how they reacted, beginning with Ted Cruz, who says, This is evil. <laughs> and he's quote tweeting Liz Wheeler, who says, don't fight the culture wars, they say. Meanwhile, demons are teaching your kids to worship Satan. I could throw up. I just look, Liz, you guys fight the culture wars because it's all you've got. We all know it, okay? That's that's all you've got, that's all they're obsessed with. It's endless culture war garbage that we all have to engage in. Because if the left doesn't engage in it, then the right runs their mouths about how the Grammys allegedly want your children to worship Satan, which is insane. <laughs> okay, so you know one of the things I wonder when I see stories like this is, was the country always this crazy that where you would have a giant chunk of people think that that was actually related to Satan? That Beelzebub himself was like, yo, yo, bro, Sam Smith, I got an idea for the Grammys. Okay, it's a little on the nose. We're not going to be very subtle here. Why don't you dress up as me and then get everybody else to dress up like demons and stuff? And that way, I bet a lot of people in America will go. Oh, Satan, yeah, that's the guy I should look into, and then they'll become demonic. Okay, so if you don't realize that that sounds crazy, you're not gonna, we're not gonna get through to you. You're gonna think no, like- No, there's more, there's okay. more, it's so but, good. But, but my question is like, it, when I first looked at it was, were we, were, was a giant chunk of the country always that crazy? And I think the answer is yes. And so what the difference now is that we're seeing them because of the online world, they're, all this is bubbling, their reaction is bubbling up. Before mainstream media wouldn't cover, like, you know, honestly, the giant chunk of the country who thought, no, no, that's actual demons on television. And they're gonna come out of the TV and grab our kids or whatever, because they thought that's nuts, so we're not gonna cover it. But because of social media, it just, and then they get together in a community, and then they're stronger in that community, and they're like, yes, we knew it. The devil's real, and he's inside your TV. And so now we gotta fight them and debate them and say no, that's actually not the devil or Loki I just, or Beelzebub. I just like, you just turn it off. You get what I'm saying? You just turn it off. There's so much content out there that I, I just, I, I ain't got no interest in it, right? Like I don't need to come up with crazy conspiracies. I don't need to fear monger about children in my family being radicalized by shows I don't like on television. Just turn it off. We live in a country that's incredibly diverse. It includes people who don't believe in Satan, people such as myself. So when we see performances like this, we don't freak out because we don't think it's real and we're not worried about anyone being radicalized to be worshipers of Satan. Here's Christian life coach Solomon Bucci, who thought that the performance was not it, not symbolic, okay? If as a Christian, you think we are reaching when we talk about the dominance and normalization of Satan worship and pop music, you need discernment. Sam Smith's performance at the Grammys last night was satanic, gore, satanic, gory. No, it's not art. It's symbolic of who they serve. Yep, yeah, I'm sure Sam Smith serves the devil. I'm that. No, but look, guys, if you're a fundamentalist, you have to get it through your head. The people who dress up in Satan outfits, 0% of them actually believe there's a Satan. You believe there's a Satan, right? But the guy who dresses up that way, if he believed in Satan, would never dress up as Satan. He would try to trick you, okay? He wouldn't be like, oh, I will get up in a giant Satan outfit so you could figure out where I am. He is an very, very likely an atheist 
who doesn't believe in it at all. That's why he thinks it's entertainment, it's funny, it's etc. He's not an act, he's not trying to convert you or your kids into b being Satanist. We think that's nuts. We don't think it's like you're saying, okay, you guys put out there, there are all these Marvel heroes, and then that's because you're trying to convert us to believing in Odin and Thor. No, we don't believe in Odin and Thor. That's why they're characters. And okay, but they, oh, they but drive so, me crazy. So there's that. They don't drive me crazy. I just think they need to calm down and just turn the TV off or switch the channel to something else that Hannah, doesn't they make really you believe so, it. They no, really but let believe them believe it. what they want to believe. Okay, but it's, it, it's called your opinion, man. As Jake <laughs> likes to say, like it is what it is. What are you gonna do? You're gonna brand, you're gonna ban the Grammys. You're gonna get into the weeds of what the Grammys can and can't allow during these performances. It's just ridiculous. When but we dress up as werewolves on Halloween, we're not actually werewolves. Uh, maybe, maybe we are. Okay. Maybe we are. Oh, maybe they're not are. actually vampires when they dress up as vampires. <laughs> okay. And they're not looking. How do they come out during the day? I don't know, man. How do you talk to people? How do you, I don't understand how we're supposed to communicate? How could you possibly think that's actually? I just satanic? think it's hilarious that free speech absolutists now want to censor artistic expressions they don't agree with. So that's that's going on on the right. Okay, let's move on to the left because I've got some stuff to say about them, guys. Beyonce broke a record for the number of Grammys she won. Okay, she is appreciated. Calm the hell down. Like the amount of like lunacy I'm seeing on Twitter about Beyonce not winning album of the year is insane. There I said it. Okay, let's talk about it for a second. Beyonce, very talented, okay? She has racked up 88 Grammy nominations over her career, but she broke a record because she won 32 Grammys. She has won 32 Grammys. Yeah. Every headline I saw from last night was Beyonce broke record, Beyonce is star of the night, Beyonce wins dozens and dozens of Grammys in her career. But Harry Styles, okay, yes, a white guy, won album of the year. I don't listen to Harry Styles. I don't know what his music sounds like. I don't know what a Harry Styles is. All I know <laughs> is everyone needs to calm the hell down. Just because Harry Styles won doesn't mean the Grammys are automatically racist or it was a racist motivation for giving him that, that win. He was like heckled as he was doing his acceptance speech and That's stuff. That's insane. Yeah, insane. people were like screaming Beyonce's name. Adele left as he started his acceptance speech. It's That's calm so the hell down. unbelievably rude too. It's Look, stupid. I don't care about the Grammys at all. I don't care about music. I don't yeah. know it, etc. But here is an argument that makes no sense. The person who has broken the record for the most amount of Grammys is being discriminated against. For whatever reason, how could she be discriminated against if she has the more than any other person on the planet? That is a very curious way of discriminating. And as great as Beyonce is, and apparently she's amazing, because look at all her fans, look at how many Grammys she's won, look at all her record sales. No one on planet Earth disputes that Beyonce is awesome, okay? She does not have the right to every single award. Other people are allowed to win awards. People are allowed to vote for things and believe that in this case, Harry Styles' record was a little bit better than Beyonce. Album, album. Album, sorry. Because best record was a different category, which was won by Lizzo. Uh huh. So I just. Is that discrimination against someone else? Everybody I just calm down. I, like, I just think that at this point, it doesn't matter how the award ceremony ends. Right? It doesn't matter how many awards, you know, various diverse artists, like how much how many they win. It's the same discourse every single time after the awards. Every single time. And look, I gotta be honest, I don't think it's real people at all. I think no, it is real people. Trust me. No, no, what I mean by that is I think it's a lot of people in that particular case in the music industry who are in a certain category and think, I want to win these awards. And if someone that isn't in my category ethnically or demographically doesn't win it, I'm gonna complain. But wait a minute, is that like, you're actually doing damage to the cause. Cuz that's the boy who cried wolf. If you say, look, there's so much actual racism in this country. Look at what the police do day in and day out. Look at the system, look at how it crushes the average person. 
But when you say that the person who's broken the record for most Grammys is being discriminated against, you appear to be the boy who cried wolf and you make it harder to believe the mountain of racism that actually exists in the country because you're looking out for yourself. No, every award should go to me. Well, God damn it, that is not at all helping the cause. It's absurd. By the way, um, Viola Davis last night also achieved EGOT status uh, because she won the Grammy for best audio book. So that means she has won every single major award imaginable, right? Like, I, look, you can be upset because you love Beyonce and you really feel that she deserved that award, that specific award, that's fine. But then needlessly drawing this weird conclusion that, oh, it's because of racism, I think is crazy. I just do. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, no proof of that at all. So, and, and anyway. like I said, it hurts so many other cases where racism is so obviously real. But most people hear you talking about the Grammys and they go, oh my God. If they think the Grammys is racist, then, then I guess none of it is true. Don't do that. Don't be that selfish. Okay, it's absurd. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.